Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new play now today with a game called Chromagun which is made by the people at Pixel Maniacs who also made a game called Can't Drive This which I'm gonna take a look at sometime later probably next week maybe with a live stream because it's a cooperative game where you get to shout at each other because we didn't play it right. So what is this game? Well it involves a gun and several rooms where you go around uh, completing puzzles so it's, it's sort of like Portal, but Portal with a paint gun. Yes, that's... Or technically that, that would be Portal 2. No, no, you didn't have a paint gun in Portal 2, you just used paint. So, well, let's pick off where I left off. I didn't actually play that much of it, but it's... It's it's growing on me, It's uh, what, what I can say so far. It's a very interesting approach to a game. Because you get a, you get the mixed colors. I I'm, can't remember for certain if you actually mix the colors in uh, Portal 2. The gels, I mean the um, propellant gel and the other gel. Here you can mix and match paint and make different colors because you're going to need them to solve all sorts of puzzles, which I'm going to show you exactly how. Okay, so uh, up until now, most of the puzzles, I most of the puzzles I've encountered uh, were, you know, the button kind where I have to get something to place on this button so I can go through the door. But I don't have any cubes or any companion cubes, so I'm gonna have to use that worker droid. But this worker droid is a bit... Um, he's a bit grumpy, as you can see from the spikes. Also, he is shielded like all these walls, so I can't actually paint over them. But um, I can, however, paint that wall, and I'm gonna paint it red which won't actually make that much uh, of a difference because this robot is too far away. The basic idea of the game is, is as follows. You have to get the robots to the paint, or close enough to the paint, because when they are next to the paint, they will latch onto it. So let's uh, try and paint this robot and awaken him. He's up now and he's angry. He is very angry. Look at him. He can't wait to hug me with his spikes and kill me. But... Here comes the magic of paint. They are attracted to the walls. Not sure if it's sexual or anything, but they are attracted to those walls. So we're gonna have to paint walls in order to get droids to not kill me. There's also more peaceful variants of these droids that won't actually try and kill you, but so far they're kind of rare. So let's, let's paint these. Let's paint that. Let's paint that thing. And let's paint the last one as well. One thing I, I can say I'm not really that much of a fan of so far in this game is that uh, there's no save option. Uh, you have to restart an entire level if you screw something up and you can screw things up. I'm going to show you uh, somewhere I can actually paint uh, an object, uh, a wall. These robots, these are uh, vicious, man-eating, man -eating, murderous robots. And they have a brown color. Now, a brown color means, means I can't actually do anything to them. They are evil. They will kill me. And uh, no matter how much I would want to try, they're not going to be attracted to anything. But I still have to get somehow one of them here. In order to... Or maybe, maybe I can do something with this wall. With this wall over here. Which is yellow for some reason. Okay, why can I... Hmm, that's strange. Usually you can't paint these, but seemingly now I can. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Usually these walls aren't paintable, but uh, this must be some exception of some kind. Okay, so let's go with this. We're gonna have to figure out a way to get one of these robots to there, but uh, there's a problem. You see, when, when you, you stack three colors of any kind together, you get this. Uh, this is the same color as these robots, but it doesn't attract them because this uh, this is the end point of colors. You can't mix more than three, and this is what you get always. You can't undo. So if you if you accidentally color a space you need with the wrong color, like were I to make one of those things brown, I would have to restart the whole level because I can't progress past it. It would cause um, it would really need a, a save function but the, the game isn't that long so the levels so far is, are not long so it's not as much of an issue okay so let's find a way 
to get this door opened. We're gonna have to put a robot here. Now to do that, we're gonna need something, something special. Like maybe getting all these robots in a conga line and stacking them up here in front of this thing. But to do that, I'm gonna need... Okay, let's see. Are they attracted to this? They're probably not, aren't they? They're not. See, not attracted. They do not like that wall. They will not buy that wall drinks, which is kind of disappointing because that wall probably has a nice personality. But these robots will have none of it. Okay, so let's see if I can go around them and convince them to sit on that thing. Let's actually, let's, let's wake them all up. Maybe I can get them to come after me. I'm gonna go through this door. They're gonna, they're gonna chase me. Okay. I'm hoping, I'm hoping to, to Pac-Man them. Come on, I'm gonna Pac-Man you. Come on, come on, come on. One more, one more, one more. Ah, come on, you're too fast, really. Okay, let's try this again. Come on, get, get, get on my level. Get, get on my, on my line. Come on. Now. Ah, come on. Okay, let, let's go through this again. Maybe I can get them stuck in the door and... No, okay, they they have they have pathfinding, yeah. They, they may have better pathfinding than I'm than I'm counting on for this uh, puzzle to be solved in this manner. Okay, come on, one of you, still none of you. Okay, I'm gonna have to. Can I get another bot? Can I get this bot too? Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, you come murder me as well. Come on, all of you. Maybe if I can get enough of them, they'll clump up together here and have to go in a line. Well, okay, here's the other one. Come on. Just one of you, come on. I'm not really sure if this is the solution to the puzzle, but this is the, the only one I, I could come up Oh, yeah. <laughs> Silly me, yeah. Mm. Uh, see, it's, it's a good idea to actually explore uh, the, your options with this game because, okay, yeah. Come on, one more. Okay, let's try that again. You know, I could have just gotten this guy over there, but... Uh, can I? Yeah, I actually could do that. See, my solution would have in theory worked um, after sufficient trial and error, but this one proved to be more effective, so I'm gonna... They're not gonna stop, are they? <laughs> they're not gonna stop those bastards, they're gonna kill me. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get this, uh, uh, oh, hell. Get this thing to go yellow, get that thing to go uh, orange, get that thing to go green. Okay, that, that was my bad. Yeah, um, no hugging achievement because the, the bots don't hug. If you want helpful worker droids to aid you with the completion of this chamber. Yeah. These are. Yeah, okay, the, these are the murder stories. Okay, let's do that again. You, come here. Come on, try and kill me. Come on, you bastard. Come on. Good droid. <laughs> Droids. They think they're people. <laughs> As you can see, when I um, used that, that, when I colored that bit blue, the, the bot moved. It's because they can't move between... Um, two uh, walls that attract them, they sort of get in the middle of them, that um, I could actually do that puzzle previously where I totally messed up the um, the coloring by just uh, painting the thing in the middle brown instead of blue. So let's paint that thing red. Let's go back out here. Where is that robot? Let's paint that thing something else. So let's get that thing to chase me. Come on, big boy, chase me. Come on, come on. You know you wanna, you know you wanna. You know you wanna. Come on, over here. Come on, come on. And I'm not gonna wake up the other guys. Because those guys are even bigger bastards. Okay, so this is gonna be green. That was not the right color. That was not <laughs> the right color. Uh, close enough. Close enough. Okay, I have to get this ball purple. Okay, I have to get this guy yellow. No, I said this guy yellow, which I messed it up completely. 
and have to get this guy to be orange. And I did it, even though I messed that up a, a bit at the first. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get this thing to be red. But I'm also gonna have to get this guy to be uh, orange. So I messed that up again <laughs> a bit. Okay, I can color the uh, the wall here. But I can however do this. So yeah, that, that sort of uh, evens things out. Let's call it something else and go through here. As you can see, it's, it's, it's a very nice game, but also this game has VR support, so uh, it would have actually probably been more interesting if, interesting if I played it in VR, but I don't have a headset right now. I hope to have one soon, and by soon I mean the year 2020, when I probably have a, a video card that's better than a GTX 750. Okay, so now we have to... Uh, I have to get the, the red one again, don't I? Yeah, I have to get a red one again. Is he gonna chase me? Yeah, he's coming after me. Okay, no worries. Come on, big red. Come on, Mr. Red Pants, come on. Come on. You know you wanna kill me. You know you wanna kill me. And that was one level of the game. Let's go to another run. So far, it's it's an enjoyable game. The puzzles, oh, it crashed. There's often a, a situation with uh, games made with Unity that they tend to crash if you're using if you're using um, screen recorders like uh, Shadowplay or Fraps or anything else when they switch between levels. That's kind of disappointing because now I'm gonna have to restart that whole thing and I. That'll be kind of boring. So let's let's take the speedrun option. Let's see if we can do something with a speedrun option. Eh, it didn't crash. It didn't crash. That's a good sign. And this is a different screen than uh, the one I got when I started the game. So I'm guessing the speedrun option is different. Ooh, we have a button. We have a big button right here. We can press it, maybe. Can we press it? I want to press the button. Is it the button? It looks like a big red button. Oh my god, it's chaos! Run, the cops are here! No, get ready? But I don't want to do! What am I gonna do? Press it again? Mash the button? What should I do? Let's change... to go to... Last chance, really? Okay. Never mind, let's go. Uh, there, there's... the speedrun... It even counts loading times, really? Oh, I hope it didn't crash again. Yeah, it probably... Cr no, it didn't crash, so it, it only crashes in... Um, when you're, you know, changing levels, not when you're loading them for the first time. Elevator, so like, like I said, there's a... There's a really big portal vibe in this game. Of portal vibe, not portal vibe. Also, this character is a lot more detailed than I expected for a game like this. Yeah, the shading is a bit non-existent, but still, it's quite a high-poly model. Like, there's clothes and everything. Yeah, I can run. Exit, yay! Yes, I know, and this this is basically the beginning, the beginning portion of the game where you did the tutorial. That would be... This would be the tutorial. Here you can see the robots, the ones that don't try to kill you, which are just running about and doing their thing. And now we're probably gonna crash again, because it's changing levels and I'm recording this bit. It's gonna crash, isn't it? No, it didn't, so whatever happened last time was actually some kind of fluke, I guess. Yeah, there's... apparently there's one more level of, um, of worker droid that's Obscenely vicious. Maybe that thing throws spikes at you. It probably does. Also, the game has humor in similar way that Portal did. The same kind of uh, the same kind of humor that ma that's that's based on making fun of you constantly. Okay, let's do this again. Well, uh, I'm not gonna try and just replay the whole thing again because that'll be kind of boring. So. Uh, I'm guessing that would be kind of it for this edition of Play Now. It's it's a nice game. You can find it on uh, 
or was it? It's on Steam for the price of I believe it was one second. Uh, Twelve euros, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, it's uh, thirty euros, and well, you get a lot of there's a lot of chapters, like at least eight of them. So yeah, I guess it would be worth it, especially if you have uh, VR. It may be a nice game to play in VR. So yeah, check it out if you want to. It has a free demo version, and um, I'm guessing that would be it for the show. See you next time with um, something different. It, it won't be Blueprint Ty Tycoon. I sort of gave up on, on that one. Um, I'm going to try and do it something like... Oh, I've got a list of them somewhere around here. I know I have a list of them. I, I, I installed most of them. Maybe we'll do the, the Friday the 13th. No, I, I can't do that one. There's a Friday the 13th game out, but uh, it, it won't actually run on my machine. It, when it starts, it just goes buzzed. It, well, it stops after it loads for some reason. How did I get past this one? Oh yeah, this, the, this way. And so see you next time with uh, a new game. Goodbye. Thank you for watching this show. If you enjoyed it, please consider watching some of our other videos and maybe sharing them or giving a thumbs up if you feel like it. And if you really, really liked what you saw, please check out our Patreon page. For just $1 a month, you could help us make much better shows and get some rewards in the process. Or you could consider buying my book called Tale of Doom. Volume 1 is out now and available for just $2. And as always, if you thought it was horrible, you know where to find me and complain about it.